team title. Oregon had 106 points at that point in the race. Iona was second, Wisconsin third, Stanford fourth. 400 meters to go. Chilanga, Rupp, running for the finish line, running for a national championship. And now the question, will Rupp be able to pull away? And there he tries to make the move. Can Chilanga cover the move? And he has covered it so far. Now here's another gear that I talked about. Chilanga moves up beside him. Is he, uh, has he got another gear left? My guess is yes. Both men maybe, yeah. And so now Rupp beginning to pump the arms. The knees are up. Look at Sam Chilanga trying to cover. And now Galen Rupp is pulling away. What a move by Galen Rupp of Oregon looking back to check. But it looks to me like he's pulled away with just about 100 meters to go. That was a strong move that he made it. I was very impressed with that sprint. Galen Rupp of Oregon now moving to the finish line. He has dropped Sam Chilanga and his steps away. Now smile the cross and he's now has the individual ncaa championship unofficially the time 29 minutes and four seconds for galen rupp what a moment from galen rupp as he gets a congratulations from sam chilago who had one incredible fight out there but galen rupp the senior from oregon has finally done it he has a national championship as an individual. Come on, Johnny! And now Rupp puts aside his individual championship and thinks about the rest of his team because they now need to move across the finish line and pick off as many runners as possible. Shadrach kept to Biwat was the second Oregonian across that line, Luke Piscedra close at hand with the 400 to go. Oregon in great shape here, team title-wise. Seven runners out there for Oregon, but only five can score, and so the best places that those five can get will help them potentially secure a national championship. Lewis unofficially, he averaged about four minutes and 41 seconds per mile over this cold, tough day as he gets a hug. And a kiss. Oh. And I think the next thing he should ask for is that coat. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone's seen that, Galen, including everyone at Haywood Field, the national championship and the kiss. You'll have to explain that when you get back home. Well, what a scene now as all these runners make their way to the finish line, trying to get the best place possible. That's what makes cross-country running so incredible and so important, so passionate. Look at Rupp now. Look at the emotion. All right. Olympian, but now NCAA champion. You had two sprint finishes the past two years. What happened today that made you pull this race off? I uh, just learning from last year, you know, another year mature, uh, not panicking. Uh, it was windy out, so I tried to stay back as much as I could and and just relax. And you know, I heard somebody yell with about 800 to go. Like, don't forget last year. And you know, I think last year I went a little too early, and this year I just held on and then just keep form and relax as much as possible. What were you thinking when Sam went out so hard today? Uh, you know, we, I was ready for it. Uh, he's gone, done that a lot this year, so it's something we, we definitely took into consideration before uh, before today. And you know, just I mean, that's faster than I go out on the track to run 10k. So you know, I knew we'd come back. We just had to, you know, be mentally tough, stay stay composed, stay with your race plan, and I knew I'd catch him eventually. Well, we saw a little bit of contact out there. Did that throw a loop in your, you know, a little loop in your race, or are you okay with that? Not really. You know, I know this is a physical race, and, you know, I've been in these races before, so you just got to let, you know, kind of the time, you know, make sure you defend your space, but not get too caught up in it and just stay stay focused. And that final turn coming home, what were you thinking? What were you feeling? I was feeling good. You know, I started to get psyched up the last, last 800, you know, I'm like, I'll run as easy as possible and just relax and, and keep my form, work my arms, and, and just finish hard. And now it's time to worry about that team, but enjoy being an NCAA champion. There's nothing like it. All right, thanks a lot. I gotta say hi to everyone back in Eugene watching live at Hayward Field. What's up to the Admiral? And that's it. Congratulations. <laughs> thanks a lot.
<laughs> All right, thanks so much. And Galen Rupp really enjoying the moment, not only for himself, well-deserved, and also hoping for his team as he salutes and addresses everyone back at Hayward Field, who I am sure have just let out one big cheer. They certainly did, and, and the hug you saw him get there a minute ago was from Matt Centrowitz, whose dad was a great Oregonian runner and Olympian himself and is a great coach at American University. And they are celebrating already. Look at this. All right, look at the individual results now. Galen Rupp, who takes the championship. Uh, Chalanga in second. Ledwith was in third. Kinsella fourth. And Puskedra there in fifth. And a big move up. Top freshman performer there is Luke Puskedra from Oregon, who was a top high schooler last year, ran 4.06, coming out of the state of Utah. Well, last year's sprint, Rupp came up a little short, but this year he had quite a move. It was la Josh McDougall last year out kicking Galen Rupp for the national championship, a moment he won't forget. And of course, this year he was able to have a much better kick over Sam Chalonga, a convincing win for his individual NCAA championship. Lewis, I was struck that this year he had a sprint. We showed a side angle of him moving so hard when he made his final kick, and that sprint wasn't there last year to that degree at all. It really was impressive when he made his move. Well, we'll be back to talk to the victorious Oregon Ducks as we continue our coverage of the NCAA Cross Country Championships from Terre Haute, Indiana, back in just a moment. And welcome back to our live coverage of the NCAA Cross Country Championships. So the win, the men have just been declared as the Oregon Ducks have just won it and Kerry Tollison is now down with the winning coach. Ben. You have two Olympians. You have the individual national champion. You have nine guys here that you said you could put on the team. How do you figure out how to win this? I think you've got a great group of guys, a fantastic coaching staff, and hello, Eugene. We're Eugene. thrilled to bring this back. Eugene. Eugene. We have a whole bunch of people back there at Hayward Field watching these guys do the job, men and women, and uh, we appreciate them being out there at Hayward watching it. What do you feel about Chalinga going out so fast and how Galen ran that race today? I'm my book right there. I think I think the I think the best best guy to speak to that is Galen Rupp because obviously he did a great job. Those are two great athletes, and that's a fantastic performance all the way around. You have had so many national championships. How do they keep getting better? Well, this was something special because this was a great field, a fantastic group of competitors, and it turned out to be a great great finish for us. Yes. Congratulations! We're so thankful that you guys can run the way you do and bring such excitement to the sport. Back to you, Lewis. All right, Kerry. Right. Thanks so much, and congratulations to the Ducks of Oregon. They've got themselves another national championship. What a team. Lewis, they've changed something this year that is worthy of note at this point in the race. As you look at them, all these guys are all Americans. The top 40 male and female finishers, whether you are a foreign athlete or not, the top 40 are all declared all Americans. So again, congratulations to everybody that competed here. If you made it to compete here, you're among the top 10 percentage, either teams or individuals in cross country of all of the athletes that compete in Division 1A at the NCAA level. Well, what a celebration for these guys as Galen Rupp can really enjoy there. You saw Andrew Weeding there on the right, who was an Olympian in the 800 meters, and that O on Galen Rupp's chest no longer stands for zero national titles individually. He's got it here today. And deservedly so. He's led his team so well, and he's been a team player his whole career at Oregon. All right, let's go back down to Kerry Tollison, who has Sam Chalenga. I'm with our runner-up, Sam Chalenga. You went for it right from the gun today. Yeah. Was it fun to have some competition out there? You've been asking for it. I know. That was really exciting. I got second, but I, I think that was a really awesome race. That was my first time I felt like I'm racing. So he's a good guy. Yeah, Galen is a great runner, and so are you. How are the weather conditions out there for you? No, it's, it's good. It's a little chilly, but I think it's good. Good for competition. Yeah. Well, it'll be fun to see you guys on the track this this spring. I know. I can't wait. Now I know something. <laughs> Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. All right, Kerry, what a run this young man had today. Sam Chalango was, was absolutely fantastic. And now I'll take a quick look at our team standings. Oregon with the win. Easy victory, and Washington's win on the women's side was the first ever in track and field or cross country. Our salute to both of those schools. All right, for Larry Rawson, Kerry Tollison, and our entire CBS College Sports crew, I'm Lewis Johnson. Get complete NCAA coverage, championship coverage at NCAA.com. For the latest scores, news, highlights, and analysis, log on to CBSSports.com.
slash CBS College. This has been a presentation of CBS College Sports, the pulse of college sports. So long, everybody.